Hi all, this Tech in 10 is going to look at flippity.net and how you can create interactive activities simply by using the spreadsheet templates in Flippity. Previously talked about this and it's one of those tools you may use if there's something else you can't find that's available as it can be time consuming to create. But the new board game template I think is well worth looking at is a possibility to use. In order to get to Flippity, go to flippity.net and it shows you the templates available. And these are again based off of spreadsheets to create the content. Don't be intimidated by it though because the board game one is absolutely easy to make once you get into it. Once you get to the site, find the board game template. There's a demo, there are instructions, and there are the template to use. For purposes of this video, I'm going to select the template you will be brought to a page that looks like this. Because these are based in sheets, spreadsheets, it's going to ask you to make a copy of the template. In order to do that, just select make a copy, sign into the Google account that you want it to go to. And now after you make your account, you're going to be brought to a page that looks like this. Intimidating, intimidating at first, maybe, but I wanted to show you the board game template out of any of them because I think it has the most value out of the ones listed, especially for our school. You'll notice along the bottom it has tabs. One is demo, one is card deck one, card deck two materials, and get the link here. I want to show you initially what this looks like in action. So I'm going to go to file, publish to the web, and remember that step because you're going to do that prior to getting the link to your board game. So I'm publishing this to the web, and I'm going to hit Publish. Once I do that, I can go to Get Link Here. I can copy this link and paste it. And this is the board game right here that's based on the information in this spreadsheet. You'll notice that the colors red, red match. What's on the information tab here, move forward six spaces, matches what's written here. So they all match over what you have in the spreadsheet to the actual board game. You can get into changing the colors of the squares, the icons and designs on here, how many dice and how many cards packs you have and things like that. But for purposes of this, we're solely going to look at keeping this template the same and only changing the images or information on the spots and the information or images on the cards. So we're going to keep the template the same for purposes of this video. We're solely going to look at, again, changing the information on the spots or changing the images on the spots or changing the images on the card. Let's first look at how to change the information in these spots. So you'll notice here on the template there's a lot of information. For instance this here says move forward six spaces. Let's change this to one space. I'm going to get the link here, copy that, paste it here, and you'll notice now this says move forward one space. It changes what you have on that space based on what you do. So you could go ahead and change all these texts. So that's the text on the card. So you'll notice number one, it's red. What do you want it to say? Number two, it's orange. What do you want it to say? Number three, it's yellow. What do you want it to say? Now you can, if you don't want it to say anything, just simply highlight this and delete it and there will be nothing on there because this is kind of like a template to show you and give you directions on here. So some of the stuff you might not want on there, okay? You can have images on these as well. So I was thinking you could be working on vocabulary or describing or core vocabulary or anything related to following directions and have different images on these cards. How do you get an image? Let me go to the image I want and I'm going to go, let's say we want this cat image. I simply can hit control in my trackpad, click, go to copy image address, and now that I have that image address copied, let's go back to the spreadsheet. 
This is in the instructions on Flippity.net's template instruction board on their website, how to do all these. It also kind of hints at it in this template that they give you. Um, but if I want to change one of the colors of the square on the actual game to an image, it looks like I just paste an image on here. Let's try that now. Now, when I take my link and I paste it, it looks like square nine should not be yellow anymore. It should be the image of the cat. And there it is right there. How did I do that again? I found the image. I hit control click, copy the image address, and went and pasted it over here. Now it looks like the instructions are different if you want the actual information to be here, like this information tab. See how it says move forward one space, move forward one space. You can also have images on this spot as well, but it looks like you need to do the brackets, image, and then paste the link. So if I wanted this same cat on the information part of that, let me do the brackets, type image, paste that image link, and now, let me get my link again to the flippity, that information on that cat bore, uh, square should be the image of the cat again. And there it is there. So you'll notice on the spreadsheet itself, you can have the colors listed of the squares, or you could change the colors to an image by just pasting the image web address by control clicking and taking it. Or on the actual information on the card, this little I information here, you could have text like you see, simple text that's you know text to read. Or you could do the brackets type image and paste that link here so the image comes up on the card as well. So that's how you get an image either on the face of the square instead of the color or in the information of the square right there. So that could have text or images or you can even just put the link in there as well. Now you'll notice that there's cards down here as well because you have a dice roll but you also have cards you can choose. These cards can also have text on them, they could have images on them, or they could have links on them to like YouTube videos or things like that. So how do I change what's on these cards? Again, go to your spreadsheet. Before we changed the images of the colors of the actual squares themselves, you could change the text that comes up on the information part of those cards. And just like on the information part, instructional part, you can have text before and after the images. You can combine images and videos and things like that on the cards or on the instructional part. But how to change the cards, go back into your spreadsheet and instead of doing it here or here, which is your game board and your information spot where again, you can put images and text and things like that and links, simply go down to card deck one. Now we're not gonna add a second card deck and we're not gonna change the materials. So you don't even need to worry about these. Card deck one, you'll notice they have all of these things on the cards in the pile. So if I was to go to the board game itself and click on a card, you can use links on cards, directions, move forward five spaces. Here's a link right here. Well, how did that get on there? It simply was from what they typed here, okay? Again, you can use web images on your cards. You can use YouTube links on your card and text and also a whole sorts of things, okay? So let's just try to change the text on the card. So let's, for purposes of this, simply take this first card and I'm going to change it to, hello, move forward two spaces. Okay, I want to get my link again here. Copy that, paste it, and now my card should be in there somewhere. And there it is right there. Let's try that again with another text of the card. So let's do, um, actually let's do the images. So it says you can do images on your card. So say we just wanted the cat image. Let's take this text out of here. Let's 
keep the formatting in the brackets there like they have it. Let's go back to my cat and just take his UR image again, address. And then let's paste that into here, keeping my brackets. And let's get rid of move forward five spaces. Okay. Now that should also be one of the cards in my board game. There's my first one I did, and there's the second one I did. Okay, so again, just like on your spreadsheet for the actual board game, where you have the colors where you could put images without the brackets, on the actual information um, pieces or direction pieces right there, those can be text or link images in there as well. But now on the cards, you can also put text or images or YouTube videos and things like that on those as well. Let's add a YouTube video. So here it says we don't, let's not have the text here. Let's just change this to say, watch the video. Then move forward five spaces. Okay, let's go to this story video. Let's go to the share tab. Let's copy the link to the video. Go back here and paste it. Now, one of those cards should be a link to my YouTube video. There's the cat we added, and there's the video, and that's embedded. There, there was, was an, an old lady, lady who swallowed, swallowed a, turkey. a turkey. Right into the board game cards. Now how neat is that? You could put videos of yourself in there modeling something or asking the student to do something prior to moving. You could combine the cards with the images on the, on the squares themselves to work on vocabulary or language skills or things like that. Let's X out of this. So again, the actual creation of the board game is done in the spreadsheet that you make a copy of when you go on Flippity. For purposes of this, we want to keep it simple. If you want to change the color of the actual board game squares, you can do that by adding the text of the color, or you can add images by taking the image web address and pasting it right in there. Notice how we added the cat. If you want to change what's on the information or instructional piece of the card, you can simply type what it's going to be, or you can add images also like we did on square number nine. You could also add text to that as well. We also looked at down here, the cards. How do you change those? Well, unlike being on this page, we went to card deck one. We're not going to look at any of these things because we're not going to change any of these. On card deck one, you'll notice that you can have text on any of the cards like we did. You could have text with images by simply following the format of pasting the image using the image address. And you can also add the video for purposes of what we're looking at. We're not at this point going to look at any of these down here. So you could watch the video. You could add the text here, add the video share link, and then the video appears on the card as well. So how cool is that is if each card has a different video they watch and then they can move ahead or it tells them what to do. I'm going to delete some of these just to show you how if I do that. Now it should only be the three cards left in the pile. Copy my link again and paste it. There's one of mine two of mine and there's three of mine so it all updates as you do it now this is the link that you can share to play the game there are some stipulations that you'll want to read prior to doing this again it's good to go to the instructional page they give you and also to look at the prompts in the actual template they give you of the spreadsheet which will give you hints and ideas as well but some of the frequently asked questions you can't play the game remotely meaning you can't both interact at the same time but you can do it, you know, by over the directions or in person. 
You can't change the amount of spaces. It tells you how to add the images and things like that and what you can and can't do in each spot. Um, and by remotely meaning it doesn't work like it does with a normal slide in edit mode. You'd either have to both share your screen or one of you share your screen like the teacher or therapist and control it um, on their end and then the student can follow your prompts and directions and things like that. So you would either have to be sharing your screen from your end showing you moving the pieces or they could share their screen or if you're in person it doesn't even matter because you'd be on one machine and you can move all these pieces and roll and things like that. But still really cool to use, especially uh, in person even, um, in your therapies or instruction. So again, it's flippity.net. It's one of the templates it offers, which is the board game template. There's a lot of other ones, but I find this one the easiest to use and most engaging possibly for our students. Gives you a great demo, gives you instructions, and gives you the template that you make a copy of in order to build your game. And you build it simply by adding things on the spreadsheet. Once you do that, you can publish it to the web, get your link, and then you have a board game to use. It can be confusing when you're in there. If this is something you're definitely interested in to do, we can always sit and look at it together. But to get you started, I hope this video was helpful, and thanks for watching.